Hey YouTube, it's Alex. This week on Rainbow in the Veins, we're talking about different things. Um, depending on, on whose day it is. And uh, yeah, I'd like to apologise if I'm not in the best of moods. Um, earlier I had two teeth out, which wasn't the most fun experience ever. And it's been a really failed day so far because I got up at like nine and I had like this dentist appointment at um at eleven thirty and so I got up at nine in plenty of time. I go to have a shower. I turn the thing for the shower and of course no water comes out, so I was like, Wait, what the fuck? Um Yeah, so all of the water had been shut off in the entire Pretty much the entire area of Birmingham where I live, um, due to some burst water main. So I had to wash in the sink downstairs, in the in the cloakroom downstairs, because um, I think all the water had gone down because of gravity or something. Um, so um, I used the, the water. There was some water left in the pipes, obviously, so I managed to fill up the sink. And I took a bottle full of water out of that for my pet rabbit, so he would have something to drink. Um, and yeah, I had to wash using a sink full of water. It wasn't great. So then I got to the dentist and I took two teeth out. And I knew they were going to, but um, yeah, it's pretty fucking painful actually. To be fair, um, they like put like five injections worth of numbing crap in my mouth. Um, So yeah, sorry if you don't seem in the best of mood. I've uh, had codeine and uh, aspirin, which I've just remembered I wasn't supposed to take aspirin. Never mind, um, aspirin and paracetamol. But yeah, I'm still on pain. But I figured I'd make this video for you. So I can't actually smile. I'm, I can't actually smile. But then I would smile at you. I really would. Um, my question for this week was, do you think being homosexual affects your chances of getting your dream job? Um, and I, I'm going to say no, um, to a certain extent. I mean, I think every aspect of a person's personality is going to affect whether they're hired or not, because every aspect of your personality and the way that you are affects the way that you behave. I mean, I'm going to put that out there and say that as a queer person, I do behave differently to a straight person. And in actual fact, I think it makes me kind of almost a better person. I, I know I'm treading on rocky ground here. Um, that's, not, that's not the same, is it? I'm treading on thin ice here. Um, but I think that having experienced homophobia in the past has made me more of a considerate person and more thinking about other people's feelings so I think I would be in some respects a better candidate than a person, a straight person who's had a really easy life. And I'm not I'm not trying to discriminate against anybody here. Um yeah. So I wanna say no, um I mean I really hope the fact that I'm gay doesn't or you know buy or I don't even know what I am at the moment it's kind of like really fucked up um but I would be you know, people ask me I just say I'm queer because that kind of encompasses quite a lot um yeah um I really hope that any sort of homo bi transphobia doesn't affect my chances of getting my dream job but I think that if an employer, a prospective employer, like didn't, like I, I was interviewed and I didn't get the job and I thought it was because I was the way that I am, I don't think that I would want to like file a complaint or whatever it is that you do and say and claim, you know, discrimination because um, I wouldn't 
want to work for that kind of person anyway. Um, and the field that I want to work in, I want to work in animal welfare and conservation. And I figure that anybody who is working in that field actually cares about other people and especially about animals. They care about other living beings. And so I'd like to think that they are more considerate about um, someone's sexuality. Yeah, so to answer the question really simply, I'd say no. I don't think me being gay um, will affect my chances of getting my dream job. It really fucking sucks. I mean, like they've taken, and I only can see, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, like that. Um, uh uh. And, um, lovely. Um, you can imagine that the taste of blood in your mouth is maybe slightly more acceptable for, say, someone who eats meat. I'm a vegan, it's like disgusting. Um, but yeah, apparently I can't smoke today, and I can't drink today, and I can't eat any hot food or drink any hot drink, and I haven't had any coffee today because we didn't have any water this morning so literally I had like a little bit of water in a bottle from yesterday that I needed to use to clean my teeth and obviously I was going to a dentist so I had to clean my teeth really well so I wasn't going to have like stuff like coffee and stuff that would stain my teeth before going to see a dentist um so I've had no coffee so I'm really 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 tired um but yeah it's just been a really, really, really fail week actually because on Monday I was I had an orthodontic appointment, um, which was fine. But then after that I was supposed to have a neurology appointment which got cancelled because my neurologist got stuck in America because of the volcanic ash um, preventing his flight from getting in. And then on the Tuesday I went to the other hospital for my uh, ophthalmology appointment only to be told that that had also been cancelled and that they had um, sent me a letter to tell me that it had been cancelled but they'd sent a letter to my exeter address because although they have my other address on file they just for some reason decided to only send it to exeter so I obviously didn't get it because I am in Birmingham and what's more, they've rewrote that for May 4th, which means that I'm going to have to stay in Birmingham until at least then. And I'm, I'm sick of it here, I'm bored, it's boring, there's nothing to do. And everyone else is at uni or I've gone back to wherever they live or are working. And my friends are back in Exeter and I want to be with them and go out and have fun. So yeah, this week so far has been rubbish. And I really hope that next week is better. Um, yeah. I'll still be in pain then though because I've got another orthodontic appointment on the Monday. I really don't see what's wrong with my teeth. They're pretty straight, I think. Um, and look, see? Uh, this is really painful, but see? They're kind of, they're, they're straight. They're, they're straight. I don't, I don't know what she's... I didn't even need to have these teeth out there. Two really healthy teeth, two molars. She's just... I don't know. We're not going to eat because this is my personal life and you probably don't really care about the personal life. So, I'm in a bad mood. I'm going to have to sleep. Yeah. But, one good note is this is going to be on time. Yeah. For one. I mean, I was going to go to the cinema and see kick ass because it's Wednesday, get on to Wednesday. But I'm in too much pain to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. In a bit. Peace out.